Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Lightspeed payments with the Ingenico ISMP4 terminal on your iPad. Assuming the terminal is sufficiently charged, you can power it on using the power switch on the upper right side of the terminal. After running through its boot up sequence, you'll need to connect the terminal to your Wi-Fi network. Open the communication settings by pressing the F key five times. Then select Access Points, followed by New. The terminal will scan for available networks. Select the desired network and press the green Enter key. Confirm the desired security setting and enter the Wi-Fi password using multi-tap text entry. For example, tapping the number 5 multiple times will cycle through the number 5 and the letters JKL in both lower and upper case. Punctuation marks can be cycled through by tapping the pound key. Once the password has been entered, press the green enter key. The terminal should then advance to a screen showing the activation code. You'll use this code to pair your terminal with your account. Now that the terminal has been turned on, we are ready to configure your gateway and pair the terminal with the iPad. To do so, we will open the main menu, and we will enter the retail manager side of the app. From here we will tap Settings, followed by Payment Processing. Now you will see the Lightspeed Payments banner indicating that your account is active and ready to process payments. Most of the configuration is done by Lightspeed, but there are a few preferences that you'll configure yourself, and to do so, tap Configure. I want to talk about the second half of the screen first, so I'll scroll down. And we'll talk about security options. With Allow Credits turned off, you will be obligated to refund any card transactions back to the original card that was used to pay for that transaction. So if you would like the option to refund to a different card, a card that would be swiped or inserted, you will want to enable Allow Credits. We also have the option to allow partial approvals. If the card being used doesn't have enough funds remaining on it in order to cover the full balance of the transaction, enabling allow partial approvals will allow you to partially approve the amount that does remain on the card, and then you can pay for the rest of the transaction using an alternate payment type or using a different card. You also have credit card payment mapping. This is going to default to credit card for all four types of credit card and debit card for debit. But you do have the option of creating custom payment types for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express, and mapping those individually so that in your reporting, they show up as separate payment types rather than all being lumped together under credit card. I'm gonna leave those at their default values and uh, we're going to pair the terminal. To do so, tap the main menu button followed by the credit card icon at the bottom of the menu. And that will take us to the payment terminal section of device settings, where we will find the add a payment terminal option. If you don't see this option and instead see a message about setting up a valid payment gateway first, simply log out of the app and log back in, and you should see the add a payment terminal option. Once you tap that option, you'll be asked to name the terminal. Again, this terminal can be called whatever you want, and I'm simply going to call it Terminal. Tap Next, and it will ask you for the activation code that should still be visible on the screen of the terminal itself. Terminal ID is entirely optional. Once you tap Next, you will see that the payment terminal is pairing. The screen on the terminal itself should advance past the activation code screen to a Tripos logo screen and you should see the payment terminal has been paired successfully green checkmark on the iPad. Tap Done, and we are now ready to begin a test transaction to make sure that everything is working properly. Let's open the main menu. We'll leave the retail manager side of the app and start a new sale. Tap the magnifying glass to add an item to the sale. And then you can tap either the card or more payments option at the bottom. I'm going to tap card, and that will kick things over to the terminal, which will then provide instructions on how to proceed. Tap 
insert or swipe the card. Confirm the dollar amount. Enter the PIN if necessary. The transaction will then either be approved or declined. Once the terminal has approved the payment, that approval will be sent back to the iPad and we will see the payment successful notification in the app. Then simply tap finish sale. And that's it. You have a fully functional terminal and you are ready to accept card payments. That concludes this video, and be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.